This is Stacy, a 16-year-old girl living with tachycardia. This chronic disease causes her to have an irregular heartbeat. Growing up, Stacy had a few complications. Unlike other children, she wasn't able to participate in Little League or dance classes. Because of her disease, she turned to art. Stacy enjoyed painting, drawing, singing, and playing the piano. Throughout the first grade, Stacy fainted frequently. Stacy's mom took her to the doctor to see if there was a serious problem. Doctors continuously failed to diagnose Stacy's condition. She and her mom then were referred to the cardiac doctor, where Stacy was accurately diagnosed with tachycardia. When Stacy was an infant, I didn't really notice anything wrong with her. It was first when she became active when I noticed her dizziness, shortness of breath, and chest pain. At first I thought it was just because she was less active than her peers, but when she started fainting, I thought something was seriously wrong. Tachycardia is a faster than normal heart rate at rest. A healthy adult heart normally beats 60 to 100 times per minute when a person is at rest. If you have tachycardia, the heart rate in the upper chambers or lower chambers of the heart, or even both, is increased. Heart rate is controlled by electrical signals sent across the heart tissues. Tachycardia occurs when an abnormality in the heart produces rapid electrical signals. Your heart is made up of four chambers, two atrias and two ventricles. The rhythm of your heart is normally controlled by a natural pacemaker called the sinus node located in the right atrium. The sinus node produces electrical impulses that normally start each heartbeat. When your heart's rate is too rapid, it may not effectively pump blood to the rest of your body, depriving your organs and tissues of oxygen. Tachycardia occurs in 1 in 1,000 people. In some cases, tachycardia may cause no symptoms or complications. However, tachycardia can seriously disrupt normal heart function, increase the risk of a stroke, or cause sudden cardiac arrest or even death. Tachycardia disease in children is normally caused by an overactive thyroid gland which produces extra electrodes in the heart and causes the heart to beat very rapidly. Uh, to diagnose Stacy, I had to use an electrocardiogram which is a tool that uses sensors and I place them on her chest and her heart and it records the uh, electron, electron signals between her heart and the blood vessels. There's many different treatments available for tachycardia patients, but for Stacy, we use medication, which is an anti-arrhythmic uh, injection, which goes into her bloodstream, and she has to go to the doctor's office to get that. But there's also a pill that she could take possibly when she's uh, when she gets older. When Stacy gets older, she won't be able to drink excessively, smoke excessively, or use cocaine or marijuana. I was growing up, I was really scared, but then I learned that this is a disease I can live with. 